Hey what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul, this is Tech and Travel, and today I'm going to be unboxing something a bit different. So I didn't even think I'd be collecting this week to be honest. Um, went to Ikea yesterday and uh, partner noticed a sign outside for sauna speakers. I said, ah, you can't be right, you know, must misread it, they don't sell sauna speakers in Ikea. Went in the store, sure enough, sauna speakers. Seems as uh, seems though that IKEA has uh, teamed up with Sonus to bring a range of speakers. So uh, here it is. It is the Symphonesk bookshelf speaker in white, made by Sonus for IKEA. So I thought you know I'd get one, try out for you guys, unbox it, and uh, yeah, see if it's any good. So let's crack on with the unboxing. So here it is, the Symphonisk. Now, I think I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, please correct me in the comments below. So let's have a quick tour around the box on the outside. So looking at the front here, we've got some dimensions, which says 31 by 10 centimeters, or 12 and a quarter inches by four inches. It includes a one times something, a one times something else, and a one times something else again. And not to forget, it excludes a one times something else. Being serious, that's a bracket, as far as I know, which, as it says, you do not get included. I'm guessing that's a speaker, some sort of connection cable, don't know what that is, and I'm guessing a power lead as well. Also, it states that it is that works, should I say, with Apple AirPlay. Um, got the indicator of what color it is. You can get it in black as well. I'll say black, I think it's sort of black, sort of stroke charcoal. Um, got the Sonos logo, um, IKEA logo. Around the side, just a couple more logos there. Um, yeah, nothing much else really. On the top, just got a uh, sort of printed picture of the speaker and four security seals on top. So I'm going to grab me my, uh, my knife and uh, get it open. Right, so we've got the old trusty knife out and uh, let's break these seals. Always something satisfying about breaking the fresh seal of a box. Got these little holes here, I'm guessing this is signed specifically to lift this out. So that's the lid off and let's see, nothing in there, that's empty. So we're we'll place that to the side. We have one power cable, which if you can, you guys can see that, yeah, it's nice braided. Yeah, so uh, beats the normal plastic stuff you get. So that's a nice little touch there straight away. And we've got a ethernet cable. So I'm guessing you can hardwire this. And we've got some instructions that have been lovely screwed up in the box for me there. Showing how to plug it in. And some other stuff there that I'll uh, probably never read. And let's move on to the uh, speaker itself. Right, so moving that out of the box, as you can see, that is the lot. So we'll put that back in for a minute. Chuck that junk out of the way. It's got this plastic bag here, and uh, it's got a nice weight to it, to be honest. Got a mark on it, nice start. And there we go. Just give you a quick tour round. So, we've got some rubber feet because you can mount it 
upright like that. Or opposite, is it that way? Oh, sorry, I've got it upside down. That way, like that, should I say? So you've got feet there and feet to mount that way round. And like I said, you can buy a bracket, which then it fits to the wall like so. And then it's designed it so you can put actually stuff on it. So we've got the Sonus logo at the top there and Ikea. We've round the back, um, Sonus again, Ikea. We've got the connection for the power cord, connection for the LAN cable. And yeah, that's about it. It's a, the mounting holes there to the bracket. So let's take a little protective bit off there. And I think we can actually pull this and show what is underneath the grill. Yeah. Gently does it. So there we go. That is what the speaker looks like without the cover on it. It's got a little port there, tweeter, main driver. Pop that back on. And then you've got your controls here at the bottom. It's getting a bit tight there for you guys. So it looks like you've got a volume up, down, play, pause, and an LED indicator. So what I'm gonna do is get the power cable put in and uh, we'll start up the setup process. Right, actually, there's one more thing I'm gonna do before I do actually start the setup process, and that is measure this power cable. It's one thing a lot of YouTubers don't do, yet it's quite an important thing to know. Um, you know, you, you wanna know if it's gonna, uh, the cable's gonna reach your nearest socket. So I'll measure from bottom of the socket there. And we are looking at, Um, about one meter forty seven there um, yeah so a hundred hundred and forty seven centimeters and I will also do the same for the LAN cable let's measure it from the end and we are looking at and that is one meter twenty right so the first step in the setup process is step one obviously which is plug in the power cable so I've got it plugged into the wall and I will simply take this end plug that in the back there nice reassuring fit that is and obviously it's designed that the cable can go down neatly as you can see there and then we have to move on to believe it or not Step two, and that is to download the Sonus app. Now, I've never had a Sonus device in my life before, and um, so it's all new to me. Um, but it was a bit confusing, I must admit, when I got it. I got home and I had a bit of a panic because all the videos that I've seen about this device were sort of indicating that it's only for Apple. Um, obviously, on the box, you've seen about the AirPlay thing. And all the videos, people were showing it connected to iPhones and iPads. And I thought, oh, great, you know, I've got an Android phone, I've got a Galaxy Note 9. And I was panicking that it's only going to be good for my Apple devices. I know I don't want that, I want it for everything. But sure enough, it says here you can download the app for the App Store, from the App Store, sorry, and Google Play Store. So you're good with everything. Now, one thing, before I go any further, I just want to point out, this is not... I'll repeat, it's not a Bluetooth speaker. So don't think you can just get your phone, pick it up and Bluetooth music to it. It has to all be done through the app. And it's done via Wi-Fi. So your, your app connects to your Wi-Fi um, router at home. And then that in turn connects to the Sonus. Hence why you get the LAN cable so you can hardwire it if you want. So moving on. 
we've got to download the app and that will look something like this the sonus controller it's going to crack on download that and we'll move on to the next step right so the sonus app is now downloaded and installed so we're going to simply run that and scroll through all this and uh saying to set up a new sonus system connect an existing system sorry connect to an existing system which i haven't got so i'm going to set up new sonus system and it's asking me to create an account so i'm going to crack on do that and get back to you guys right so i've now set up a sonus account had to just confirm the email um, like you do with a lot of accounts like this and next step is to set up a new sauna speaker, which I'm going to do. It's going to try and connect it to the network, I'm guessing. Um, ask me what I'm setting up. Setting up speakers. And connect your speaker, power it on. So I'll now turn it on for the first time. Got a light there flashing. So I'm guessing that's all good. It says connect your speaker to power, which obviously I've just done. So I'll continue. And it says wait for the uh, flashing green status light before continuing. Yep, so that is flashing green. And so we will continue. And there we go. It says uh, speaker set, we have found one speaker near you. And it's actually marked up as the IKEA Symphonist bookshelf speaker. So I'm going to click on to set speaker. And it's now asking me, while I set up, to add your new speaker. You will be guided through iOS accessory setups, setup steps to configure it on your normal wireless network. So I'm going to crack on and do that. Okay, so I connected it to the network, and that's all good. And now it's saying to press buttons on the bookshelf speaker. I've got hold down the play and volume up button and listen for a, for a chime so we do that now a bit awkward holding the camera and doing this there we go right so that's all done now and it's asking me to move on to the next step which i'll do and it's asking me to choose a room to sort of uh, pair up to as such um which i'll do now so I'm going to do, what have we got? We'll go kitchen. Okie dokie. Right, so that's all done. All updated. Let's press continue. It says registering the products. Um, sorry if this is going on a bit already, this video, guys. But I like to be in depth and thorough about my reviews and setup processes. A lot of YouTubers don't. They just, you know, sort of quickly go over it and just you know rip it out of the box and that's all well and good but there's loads of them out there like that and you know not everyone's in the know of how to set these sort of things up so i'd rather be a bit more thorough about it for the for you guys out there that you know aren't so tech savvy so anyway it's saying here about true play and it says tune your speakers custom tune your speakers with true play so you get great sound no matter where you place them make sure you basically put the speaker where you intend to leave it um if you move your speaker you'll need to retune so yeah pretty obvious if you move it around the kitchen just retune it and it will set itself up again hold your ipad like that ensure you uh, you won't cover the microphone you may need to adjust your orientation so i'm gonna have to put you guys down on the side there for a second right continue uh, watch the entire 30 second video wave your open for a remeasure and how sound has affected your surroundings walk slowly through the room right let's start the tuning process <laughs> And 
And there we go. Adapting speaker sound. And uh, tune has been successful. So let's uh, pop my iPad back and uh, crack on. So yeah, that was a bit of a uh, bizarre thing to do. Um, if you don't get it right, it says that you you know you've got to wave it around a bit more, a bit more up and down sort of thing. Yeah, I uh, can't say I've ever had to do that one before. So uh, yeah, something new. So let's finish the process. It says it's all complete. Let's move on. And now we're just going to add a music service. So I'm going to uh, select my Spotify and any others and check back with you guys. Right, so we have now got it all set up. I've got some no copyright music through Spotify, obviously running through the Sonus app. So hopefully YouTube won't pull my video. Um, what I do, I'll give you a, a demo of the speaker playing and afterwards, I think it might be even worth comparing it to that one. I know it's small, um, but you know, you've got something to go off then as a reference. So anyway, let's uh, fire up this music. And we're on about half volume. Let's turn it up a little bit. Bass sounds good on it. Sounds nice and clear. Doesn't sound quite so good when the punch is coming in there, but you know, I think that's the 100 pounds sort of speaker coming through there. If you spent a bit more, maybe it'd be a bit better, but you get what you pay for. So far, I think that sounds pretty good. And I think we'll take the grill off, see what's going on.
there you have it. So, I think that's uh, pretty impressive, you know, for the money. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, there's better speakers out there. But yeah, I think for a hundred pounds, it's not a bad little buy, to be honest. You know, if you're more of a sort of full-on audio file, yeah, you know, you'll probably laugh at that sort of thing for the price. Um, well, I say for the price, you know, you'd probably spend more money than £100, you know, if you're really into your sounds. But, you know, for the average person, yeah, I think that's, you know, not a bad bang for your buck, to be honest. So anyway, what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fire up the uh, same bit of music, because, you know, you guys have just heard it, so you know what it sort of sounds like. And I'm going to put it on the Amazon Echo. I'll say, yeah, bit of a size difference, but, you know, something to go off here. And, uh, you know, we'll compare how, how the two sound. So you can get a good feel for sort of, you know, how much more bass you're going to get out of this compared to something like that. I think originally that one cost me about 80 quid, I think. So, you know, for only 20 quid more. Well, I, I don't know if there are any any more at the moment. No, sorry, any less than that at the moment. Um, maybe when they're on sale, I think they drop down to about 50 or so. But still... Full price, I think they're 80, that's 100, 20 quid difference. You know, I think it's well, going to be well worth paying the extra 20 quid for. So let's uh, fire up the next song. Sky High by Electronomia from Spotify. <laughs> so we've got this on about half volume again, thereabouts. Straight away you can hear, well I can anyway, not as much bass. Let's move over here a bit. Still not bad for a little speaker mine. Does does this uh, job well I suppose for the size. See, that's where it's lacking, is that punch uh... And what we'll do, we'll cut, cut back to the sonar speaker and compare it. Alexa, pause. Right, back to the sonus. Alexa, play. Alexa, pause. Yeah, you can really hear that difference there. Uh, Alexa, play. Stand over a bit. So it's still not a bad sound, but that's Sonos, to be honest. For 20 quid, it's on another level, really. Alexa. Pause. Alexa, play. Yeah, see on that, that bit there, you, you just don't even hear the low notes on the uh, echo. 
So anyway, let's stop it there. Alexa, stop. So yeah, I think uh, it's a win for the Sonus. Um, hundred pounds, yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, for you guys who don't know, they also do a lamp version of it as well. So it's basically looks like a knockoff of the Apple speaker, um, the AirPod, is it? Um, and also, it's got a lamp stuck on the top. So yeah, win-win situation for that one. And it's, I think, only 150 quid. So yeah, check them out at IKEA, guys. Um, grab them while you can, because as far as I know, they're selling out quite quick as well at the moment. You know, I'm sure there are plenty of stock back in if they do sell out. But um, at the moment, they seem to be sort of flying off the shelves because, you know, under pounds. So it's branded the Sonus. Not bad bang for your buck. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and you know give you a bit of an insight to this uh, new speaker to the market. And if you enjoyed the video, really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, think about subscribing for uh, more of the same in the future. Got loads of new gadgets um, to unbox this week. Still got my 5K iMac to unbox 29, uh, 2019 version of it. Um, I've got a brand new Echo Clock turning up, should be here any minute now, so, and that's just been, been released in the UK here, so can't wait to unbox that. And if you're a subscriber to this channel already, I've got some amazing news um, to, to do with some stuff I'm going to be unboxing. The stuff's going to be arriving next week, so check out my next few videos because I'll be making some announcements to do with that. So, once again... Thanks very much for joining me and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.